guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tired Mama. Uh, this is Vlogmas, right? So Vlogmas for us is 30 days, 31 days of how to be a freelancer. And today I want to talk about what my day looks like. We're going to be doing a day in the life a little while later, but for right now, I really want you guys to know what a day to me is like and why certain things are so important so number one i get up and i take my kids to school to me it's really important to then come home get a shower get on clean clothes these may seem like silly steps but it puts you in the mindset of i'm at work okay so the next thing that we do that i do is i silence my phone and I have a note that I put on my door and it says I'm currently working unless this is life or death uh, please come back and see me after five o'clock um, that lets my family know my family is notorious because they live two houses down to just popping in and wanting to sit around and have a cup of coffee I have to keep myself in the mindset that I'm at work this is my job and that just helps me to be more diligent, diligent, diligent in getting my task completed. Uh, for me, it's very important that I have a clean workspace. Uh, my cup of coffee is close. It's very easy sometimes to fall into this rabbit hole of rolling out of bed and jumping on a computer, regardless of what's going on, and just rolling with it when you don't prepare yourself mentally that you're in a work space then you can very quickly fall down this very depressive into a very depressive place okay but i have to compartmentalize my day uh i have this to do and then i'm at work i get done with work at this time now it's family time and to me that has really really kept me from going into some of the places that I see other freelancers go into. Uh, freelancing can be a very uh, anti-social thing because for the most part, you may only talk to people online or through email or chat. You know, I have one company that I have a phone call scheduled with my boss today, but I haven't talked to him in a year besides through chat. So these are things that you have to keep in mind if you are a super social person then make sure you're scheduling social time for yourself uh, if you are someone who likes a regimented schedule like me then i schedule my lunch you know at 11 30 every day is when i i take 30 minutes i fix a lunch i sit down i eat it i come back i do not eat at my desk here's another trick do not work in a common room of your home. You need a space that you can work that is not your living room or your dining room or your bedroom because you need to still keep work, work and life, life. Okay. Just like you were going to work. It does make keeping your, uh, let's see, keeping your life happy, if that makes sense. And trust me, that is an error that I fell into when I first started freelancing. Once I realized that I had to compartmentalize things and make myself still into the mindset of I'm going to work, I'm coming home from work, I'm going to take a lunch, I'm going to come back, it made my day so much easier. That's all of my tips for today. These videos are going to be relatively short. There are other content videos coming out this week as well. If you have any questions about freelancing or maybe you're interested in joining me at my Upwork agency. You can search for us on Facebook at Mother Works Upwork Agency, and I would love to add you. In the meantime, what is it that you do if you're already freelancing to keep your work life and your home life separate? Or do you combine them? Have you found a way to make that successful? Comment below. I would love to have a conversation with you. In the meantime, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video, and I hope to talk to you soon. Remember three things. Number one, you are worth what it takes to better your life. Number two, your life is worth the effort that it takes to better yourself. And number three, know that you 
are loved. Until next time, guys. Bye.